Okay guys, hello, hello and welcome to my kitchen. This is Mattel from Mattel's Kitchen. I'm so excited to have you here today. I haven't been on my Facebook page in a while and I decided to come back full force for you guys and share with you one of my all time favorites, tahini energy bowls. Now if you follow me, you know I love eating tahini. Tahini is just one of the most accessible healthy fats out there, which I incorporate in every opportunity to my diet. I want to talk about how I got this recipe even invented. One second. So this recipe happened to be created about six years ago when I had my twins, I had the twin boys and I needed to increase my milk production so I can feed my premature baby and I had no other choice. And I decided that I'm creating for myself a recipe that has all the essential things in order to nourish me, to feed me when I'm starving, to grab and go when I'm hungry. You don't even need to have babies, you don't need to be a woman, it's just a very, very, nourishing snack that is guilt-free you can enjoy it you can grab it from the freezer it, it lasts for a couple of good weeks uh, it yields a good quantity if you don't eat 10 of them a day it's very very satiating there's so much to say about it I want to start I want to say hello to everyone who's watching thank you for being here I'm really excited to be back um, I started to do lives on my Instagram on Saturday night but I saw how much you guys are thirsty for more uh, reaction from me and I was like, I'm here, you guys, I'm here. So let me share with you, whoever is here, you can say hi, you can say hello, let me know where you're tuning from, thumbs up, shares, love, show me you're here and I'm gonna start. So the full recipe is actually on my website at Battelle's Kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna post it later, but now here is what we need. I pretty much prepared most of the ingredients. So we're gonna need oats. Oats are going to be the base for this uh, beautiful dish. So I'm just pouring three cups of oats over here. And now I'm gonna use nuts. Nuts are very, very good for you. So I'm gonna use a food processor. You can also um, chop it by hand. A food processor is ideal because kitchen is hard work to begin with, so we don't need more work. I'm just adding into here some almonds, some pecans, some walnuts, and I am going to close it. And the key is not to get it too, too fine. You want to have a crunch. You want to enjoy every bite of it. Okay, let's do that. Okay, great. One more second over here. Thank you guys for joining. Okay, great. So it's not like a fine chop. Now, the key is to reserve some of the uh, nuts over here in a bowl because I'm going to dip the, the bowls in here after we're done. Or you can use coconut or you can use whatever you want, but I'm gonna use some of it. Actually, I wanna do a little bit more nuts because why not? Let me do a little bit more nuts over here. I love the crunch, I'm already making it. Let's do it the right way. So I am pouring actually these nuts are from uh, Costco. I buy them and I keep them in the freezer. You can see the bag is cold. It's very, very good. Let me pour this one into here. You see, I'm pouring it into my oat bowl. Just gonna do a little bit more of the nuts. Tiny bit more. And every time I do this recipe, I share it with moms, with friends, with a woman who just gave birth, uh, with somebody who was just sick, or a neighbor, because they're just so delicious and good for you. Alrighty, let's 
put it here. the crunch which I love. Let me get rid of the uh, food processor here. Okay so here is my part of my dry ingredients. I have the oats, I have the nuts. I'm adding to here flaxseed, pre-measured uh, ground flaxseed that I also keep in the freezer to keep the healthy fats. We don't want it to oxidize and you know become like a spoil so I'm adding also hemp seeds hemp seeds are loaded with uh, protein plant-based protein they have omega in them you see how many nutrition things are here so hemp seeds are going in as well what else we have cacao powder I'm using organic cacao powder try to use organic good ingredients if you can so I'm putting it in here. See how easy that is? So this one is also from Costco, uh, a really good one. It has two grams of fiber, it has magnesium, it has vitamin C. It's an amazing product. And now I'm just going to mix it up. Here we go. These are my dry ingredients. Are you guys into tahini? You're into peanut butter? What are you into? I would love to know. And I know that some people tried this recipe, so if you did, share with me your thoughts. So these are my dry ingredients. How easy is that? Hi, April. Oh, hi. So nice to see you here. Okay, so I am going to do my wet ingredients. That's the drill. For my wet ingredients, what do we need? We need tahini. Now, I want to talk about tahini for a minute. There are many types of tahinis, but tahini um, has a lot of calcium. So you want to use whole tahini as opposed to regular tahini. Um, regular tahini is healthy and good for you, but whole tahini, look at it as whole grain, whole spelled, whole wheat. It has much more nutrients to offer and you get much more for your um, budget also. So it's just really, really uh, a better choice for you. So it doesn't matter the brand, if you can get organic, get organic, but um, whole tahini is really, really good. You love tahini. Okay, great. So I see tahini lovers over here. So once you combine tahini with sweetener, you get a halva flavor which I grew up on in Israel if you go in the in the shuk not today but in the market in Jerusalem you can smell the tahini you taste the tahini it's just really really an experience so today we can get tahini in the US like anywhere thank God so I'm putting tahini over here now in the same little cup measuring cup I'm going to add some honey. About half a cup. Okay. That's going to go in here. See how easy that is? And this recipe really, really developed because I wanted to combine as many um, nutrients as possible, like healthy fats, healthy nuts, uh, fiber, uh, things that are antioxidants, um, uh, things that are, are going to produce more milk, more concentration, more relaxation. So I have here some chocolate chips um, that are uh, part of their not dairy. Now, this whole thing is my wet ingredients, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. We're gonna do 30 seconds increments until the chocolate is melted. It shouldn't take long, maybe, maybe a minute or so. So let me do that. I wanted to add 
that if you know and if you have nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast is something that many vegans use. Uh, it has a lot of flavor, like a cheesy flavor. Not that we need any cheese over here, but I'm just saying that's the character of it. And it has B12 vitamins, which are essential for people who don't eat a lot of animal products or don't eat animal products at all. For me, we are plant-based in my house six days a week, except Shabbat. And besides going to restaurants or birthday or whatever, so we um, we use a lot of nutritional yeast in my cooking, uh, in my dishes, in my desserts, wherever I can, I put it because why not? Okay, so here is my tahini. Let me see how the chocolate is looking. Great. I think 30 more seconds and we're good to go. You want the tahini basically to be coated with all the chocolate. Yummy. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, let's put it back. I wanna know guys, are you excited to be here? I'm so excited, I, I, I really miss you guys. It's been a while since I did a live over here. This is actually my new kitchen and my new house. The other time I think I did a live over here was in my other house, my other kitchen. It was way darker. I need still to do a little bit of finishing, but um, that's my new kitchen. And I hope you're following me on Instagram. Okay, I think my tahini is ready. Let's see. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. You should not taste it because once you do, you're not going to stop eating it. This is so good. This is like our healthy ganache. If you don't use any honey because of whatever reasons, you can use maple syrup. Mmm. You cannot understand how it smells. Look at that luscious beauty. Okay, now it's very simple. I'm going to put this here. You can see, let me know if you can see. Let's put this here, this whole thing. Mm, yummy so excited for this and the more it sits in the fridge or in the freezer it just gets better and better so delicious do not waste nothing over here this is good yummy tahini and now Give me one second over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is mix it up. Now, whenever I do that, when it comes to this stage, I use my gloves because I want to deal with like stickiness and stuff. Um, I want to I want to say something else. Yes, I want to do a tiny bit of coconut oil, which is optional. And if the batter is like a little bit too dry, we need to use a little bit of plant milk which I don't have today because it's just finished. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a tiny bit of water. Nothing happened. Okay, here we go. Here is my coconut oil. I'm doing about one, two tablespoons. It just adds a little bit more flavor and richness. Alrighty. I'm all about feeding mummies because mummies are just there to feed their kids and they forget to eat. And if they eat and they eat the food they don't want to eat, they are 
sad about it. So take care of yourself and make yourself something healthy. You see, it takes 10 minutes to prepare something that, by the way, at the store, it will cost you so much money. You see how many healthy ingredients are here. And, um, and you, know, you know what's in it. You can control the sweetness, you can control the quality, you can control the quantity. You see how much you get out of here? <clears throat> Hi, Judith. Good morning. Thank you. I got my shirt at Zara. I think last sale they had. And I think they're going to have another one soon. I should check it out. All right, so if you look at it now, it looks a little bit dry, but don't worry. I'll show you what we do. So first of all, what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that everything sticks together. Mm, so good. If the comments are bothering you, just slide the screen to the right or left. I'm not sure which one, but if you slide it, you're not going to see the, um, the comments anymore. Actually, we don't need liquids over here. Maybe, maybe just a little drop and we're going to let it sit for about five minutes to allow everything to marry. The oats need a chance to absorb just a little bit. If you have milk, you put milk over here. I don't have milk, so I'm, I'm adding just a splash of warm, room temperature water. Okay, that's looking great, you guys. See, it's crunchy, it smells amazing. And I'm going to leave it here just for a few minutes to let it sit like that. Now, <clears throat> while we do that, I want to know who's here. So Rachel is here, Dean is here, Judith is here. Hi everyone, I'm really, really excited to have you here with me. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to know like a specific thing that we added over here. What are you up to these days? I want to know and I want to introduce to those of you who might not know me. My name is Batel from Batel's Kitchen, Batel Gershwitz, and I am a cookbook author of um, Eggless Possibilities, if you don't know. So I published this book about a year ago or so. This is my baby. I started as a food blogger, which started completely as a hobby. I did not intend whatsoever to make a career out of it. But since it was my passion, my true 100% passion, um, my husband purchased for me the domain of Battelle's Kitchen. And slowly, slowly, when I had time, which there is never enough time, I started to upload uh, recipes. And this journey just grew and I grew with it because once you love something you do it and you don't see how the time goes and pass because you just enjoy every moment there is a lot of work into it but this is literally a daily part of my life of what i do i just love cooking and i love educating and i love sharing my passion with other people so people can get educated more about nourishing food. I was not always into uh, healthy food and being a uh, health conscious, but life takes you to different places and um, you understand that you have to take responsibility over your health, uh, whether you want it or not. So uh, today I'm all about eating healthier and I practice a plant-based diet for six days a week unless I go somewhere or unless I'm invited or unless uh, there is a birthday or a restaurant or whatever. So I allow myself to uh, switch here and there. But uh, other than that, my kids, my husband and I are eating a plant-based diet at the house, which we're very, very, very proud of. It's something that took us a couple of years, about six years now since the journey has started. 
And uh, I'm so honored to inspire so many people, either on social media platforms or physically, when just before the corona started, I was doing a lot of, um, uh, how do you call it, sessions and classes going to places that uh, groups have gathered in order to learn how to cook healthier for their families or doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. So this is a real, real, real passion for me. And this book, Eggless Possibility, is basically everything that a person needs in order to start a plant-based diet if they have no clue how to bind food without eggs. What do we do without eggs? How do we eat protein? Where is the protein? How can I make a meal that kids love, that I can, um, that you know, my husband can enjoy, that it's not gonna fall apart, that it looks appetizing, that it's something that uh, I would want to eat. So it's so important, like presentation, not just eating healthy. You can eat lettuce all day long, you can eat greens all day long, but you're not going to be happy and satisfied because you're going to feel like there is no base to it. Food needs to be appetizing and presentable and yummy and delicious and not just healthy. So the beauty about this book is that it gives you healthy food delicious food, but very practical and guilt-free. By the way, it's gluten-free. How could it be vegan and gluten-free? There's a magic ingredient in here. Uh, by the way, the book is now on sale, so you can um, grab it on Amazon. A lot of patties, burgers, uh, meatballs, a lot of things that are so, so practical for you guys. So I hope you check it out. So I think now is a good time to check our balls over here and I'm gonna grab new gloves all right what are you saying Judith I need to learn to cook especially healthy food listen it, it's a journey we all do I learn every single day and I'm in the kitchen every single day all day there is never enough. I discover new food every single day and I just love it. Okay, so here it is. Now we have, remember this one? So we put some of the nuts over here. You can use coconut, you can use, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more hemp seeds over here. More protein. I love the crunch. The crunch is so important. And I have my pretty tray over here and we're ready to roll. So I want to give you a tip today that whenever you, you want to roll something, have a little bowl with water next to you. Okay, here's my bowl of water. So let's make a station over here, a little station. So here is the bowls. I just want to make sure you see. One second. Let me see. Maybe now. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So here's the nuts. Here's the the mixture, and here's my water. And let's get started. Do you use quick oats or old-fashioned oats? That's a good question. I actually use, whenever I can, old-fashioned oats. These are my main, main, main ingredient in my house. I do carry old-fashioned oats because sometimes you just need it. You don't have time to deal with the old-fashioned oats. But um, yeah, this is uh, uh, old-fashioned oats. If you wanna use quick oats, I would say you might need a little bit more. The texture is gonna be a little bit different, but if that's what you have, go ahead and use it. Okay, nothing complicated here. I'm just putting it here. And you see how beautiful everything sticks because my hands are wet and the bowl is wet. Look how beautiful is that. I cannot wait to eat it. And these are going to the freezer. After we finish here, I'm going to put them in a container 
and put them in the freezer and they are gonna keep there for a couple of weeks unless they're gonna be finished just in a couple of days but um, what I want to say is that once you take them out of the freezer let them sit for two minutes three minutes so that when um, you chew into them you can actually chew and not they're not gonna get iced but what I'm saying is it's gonna be too too frozen so give it like two minutes three minutes unless you want to keep it in the fridge which it's so so but in the freezer it's ideal okay so that's what I'm doing here I think the the magic happens when it goes to the freezer this is where it happens something happened to it everything just gets so good okay so who is going to try this I want to know who is going to make these and by the way if you don't have all the ingredients just use what you have if you don't have all the nuts use whatever nuts you have you know don't have to be exact but the base this is the base and I really want to stress that using whole tahini as opposed to regular tahini will give you much more nutrition so try to upgrade on that and I think it's very easy to find in the stores these are like jumbo balls but this is great once you eat one of these it keeps you full you make a tea or a coffee and this is a great snack you can add a fruit you can add an apple or a banana and you get much more nutrients can you hear my Israeli music over here all righty the hemp seed was a good idea over here you're, you're definitely going to try it great okay so here it is guys I'm gonna do just one more I'm gonna keep it in the freezer so excited for this my kids eat it as well they're used to it okay let me show you here you go guys I hope you enjoyed these are our energy tahini bowls which are very famous on my website um, I hope you're gonna try it if you need the recipe I'm actually gonna post it here um, let me know if you enjoyed thank you for joining and tuning in I'll see you next time let me know if you want more lives and uh, I'll catch you later bye bye hope you enjoyed